Hi, this is Jonathan Miller, and this is the very brief Spanish pronunciation for Alepun. The only thing you really have to worry about happens on the bottom of the first page, and it happens over and over and over again. So at the bottom of the first page, everyone sings Ialepun, as in the context of the first line. Flurries of snowflakes are falling, Ialepun. The important thing to notice is that the E, as represented by the letter Y, is a different sound from the letter E at the end of Ale. It's a short E, as we would say in English. Alepun, Alepun, Alepun. And you put the Y just in front of it, Ialepun, Ialepun. Flurries of snowflakes are falling, Ialepun. Say that with me now. Flurries of snowflakes are falling, Ialepun, Ialepun. Good. Now go, go on. Top of page four. Try this with me. One and a two and a flurries of snowflakes are falling. Yalepun, going on. Winds from the shadows are calling. Yalepun, alepun, yale alepun, alepun, yale alepun, alepun, katapun. Aha, uh-huh. katapun. Katapun. The T is not highly aspirated, which means it's not very explosive. Katapun. Katapun. So going on, in the uh, middle of page five, the tenors and basses have a slightly slower rhythm than the, te- than the sopranos and altos, but it's pretty much the same thing. So here's measure 17. One and uh, two and uh, one. Alepun, yale, alepun. Alepun, yale, alepun. Alepun katapun. That's pretty much all you need to know. Happy singing.